This is the 14th of March, 2019. Another Democrat rat throws his hat into the 2020 presidential race. O'Rourke enters 2020 race, published by The Hill, written by Max Greenwood, G-R-E-E-N-W-O-O-D, published on the 14th of March, 2019. But Beto O'Rourke, the former Texas congressman whose 2018 Senate bid against Senator Ted Cruz lifted his national profile has jumped into the 2020 presidential race. You know what you have to ask yourself? What did this congressman accomplish in Congress? You know what the answer is? Squat. Quote, the only way for us to live up to the promise of America is to give it our all and to give it all for all of us, he said in a video announcing his candidacy early Thursday. This is a defining moment of truth for this country. And every single one of us, he added, touching on health care, immigration, justice reform, and climate change. O'Rourke also vowed a positive campaign that seeks to bring out the very best from every single one of us, that seeks to unite a very divided country. You know who divided the country? Huh? That fag, Barack Hussein Obama. You know what's really ironic is that in Saudi Arabia they throw him off a building. <laughs> Yet he's a follower of Islam. O'Rourke strongly hinted at a desire to pursue a presidential run in a Vanity Fair profile published Wednesday. Quote, you can probably tell that I want to run, he told Vanity Fair. I do. I think I'd be good at it. He is expected to hold multiple campaign events over the next several days in Iowa. The El Paso Democrat entrance into the race as a rising political star to the increasingly crowded field of Democratic hopefuls. He joins the likes of Senator Elizabeth Warren, Democrat, Kamala Harris, Democrat, Cory Booker, Democrat, among others, and seeking the party's 2020 presidential nomination. The more the rats that are running around, the less chance any one of them has a chance of being brought to the forefront. O'Rourke garnered star power last year during a high-profile challenge to Cruz. His social media presence and immense fundraising power lifted him from a little-known three-term congressman to a Democratic rock star with a following that stretched well beyond Texas. So he has been there for like three terms. What did he accomplish? Again, squat. Nothing. While he ultimately lost to Cruz in November, Rourke managed to come within less than three points of a win in Texas, a state with a reputation as a Republican stronghold. Voters in the Lone Star State haven't elected a Democrat rat to the Senate in roughly three decades. Unlike other presidential candidates who had mulled White House bids for months or even years before announcing their campaigns, O'Rourke only began floating a possible presidential contender after losing a Senate race against Cruz in November. After weeks of dwindling media attention and questions about whether his political stock had fallen, he turbocharged speculations in that 2020 run when he led a march in El Paso in early February at the same time President Trump held a campaign rally there. It was a clear indication by O'Rourke that he had no intentions of going away after months of waffling on whether to undertake a White House run. You want to read the rest of the article. But like I said, the more rats that they have running around, the less chance any one of these will be chosen. But obviously one will be chosen. I don't think it will be O'Rourke. Do you? Hmm? The link will be attached. Thanks for listening.